Hi, I'm Aaron from Cooper's Products. We are the designer builder of Ice Crusher UTV cab heater kits. All right, with this video, we're going to look at our Maxstat. It's a coolant bypass valve. What does that do? Well, in our kits, as you know, we have a CNC fitting, Y fitting, that goes in the top radiator hose and the bottom radiator hose. And by doing that, it allows a coolant to flow off to the um, heater. We still have coolant that flows directly past as well, going off to the radiator. So the downside of that is that at low speed or at idle, you don't get much flow. So um, water, along with uh, any, anything, most other things, including ourselves, usually take a path of less resistance. So it's going to flow through the larger hoses. There will be still some flow to the heater, but not a great deal. So to rectify that, what we've done is we've made this Maxstat coolant bypass. Now the coolant bypass is a very simple unit. Simply consists of a housing with a thermostat in it. So the thermostat goes into the housing. And then we steal that fitting out of here. The barb fitting screws into that like so. So what we do is we remove the Y fitting from the top radiator hose and replace it with the Maxstat. So what happens then is that we have the coolant coming from the engine, from the thermostat housing, from the upper radiator hose, and then, then it flows off to the heater. It's stopped from flowing out to the radiator by the thermostat. So the majority of the coolant will flow to the heater. And then that, by doing that, uh, at low speeds and at idle, you are getting any fluid, any of the coolant that is flowing is directed to the heater. So you'll be able to get heat from your heater at the lower speeds and idle. It will be reduced because it's not a great deal of flow, but it, uh, it is better than using a Y fitting, which it simply flows all the way through. And then what happens is that uh, when the UTV calls for extra cooling, the thermostat will open up and allow the coolant to flow to the radiator for extra cooling when required. But the majority of the time, the thermostat remains closed and all the coolant is passed through the heater. That way, uh, making it a lot more efficient. So it's a very simple unit, works very well. Uh, a couple of things we want to think about when we're uh, using these or installing these. One thing is we want to put Teflon tape, pipe sealant, around the uh, 5 8 barb and we don't want to over tighten that. There's no need to do that because the last thing you want to do is, is split the body. Don't need to do that. Uh, the thermostat that's supplied with the kit, uh, we supply them with the jiggle pin removed. Now, if those that you don't know what a jiggle pin is, it's a little pin that sits in a hole and it jiggles. And it allows a little coolant to bleed through, it allows a little bit of air to uh, get through if needed. Uh, it aids in the bleeding of cooling systems, at least, at least in this application anyway. But uh, uh, the reason why we want that to be removed is that um, uh, when the heater is turned off, there's no coolant flowing. So what happens is the back of the thermostat will not get the warm coolant and it won't open up and allow it to flow the radiator. But by allowing that little bleed hole, coolant will bleed through and by doing so, allow the warm coolant to get to the back of the thermostat and open it up when it needs to. That's when the heater is in the off position. So uh, the thermostat is in, installed with the spring side down, like that. Top screws on there. Doesn't hurt to put a little bit of anti-seize on these threads. Screws up like so. You can tighten this up by placing this in the vise jaws and using um, uh, a pair of um, adjustable jaw pliers or an oil filter wrench, something like that, and that way you can tighten that up. 
Now, if you want to wrap a little bit of masking or tape around the outside to protect the finish so you won't damage it while you're tightening it, that's a good idea as well. So a nice, simple unit. Works very, very well. Very, very effective. Uh, our customers have been very, very pleased with this unit. So that's a look at our Maxstat coolant bypass valve. So this is Aaron from Cooper's Products and Ice Crusher Cab Heaters. Any questions, uh, please visit our website, which is coopersproducts.com. And that's spelled C-O-U-P-E-R-S products.com.